Hello everyone and welcome to Fun House's official holiday gift guide. I'm your host, Adam. I'm also your host, James. And we're gonna be looking at some of the best holiday gifts you can get from the tech section of a little store we like to call Five Below. Tell me, Adam, why is it called Five Below? Well, James, everything in the store costs $5 or below. It's all garbage. Oh. Maybe you don't have the type of top dollars to buy all those cool things in the tech se mm -hmm. section of something like Ross mm -hmm. or TJ Maxx. Yeah. This is, this is the Discount Gamers gift guide to giving. You can blow your favorite gamer's mind without breaking the bank. I think we've already done a pretty good job of explaining what we're doing today, so let's go ahead and look at our first gift. I'm gonna just reach into my bag down here and go whatever ahead and I can grab get. it, see what you got there. I got these gamer headphones. Wow. <laughs> Those look pretty nice. $5. Uh, Bluetooth gaming earbuds. So, so Adam, uh, uh, people spend a lot of money on headphones. Yeah, dumb things like Dre Beats. Two, up to $250, $300 on headphones, but these headphones were only $5. Yeah, and they have to be good. Let's compare, let's do the scale. How would you say that these compare to $50 headphones? They get the job done, as far as I know. Okay. And, can, can I just open it? Yeah, just open it. Okay. Yeah, just open it. There you go. Okay. So look at this. So let's see. Right out the box, <laughs> it's got nice. Oh, is that a microphone? Yeah, I told you they're gamer headphones, and they're not noise canceling, but they definitely go really far into your ears. I think that one's on backwards. No. I think that's the other ear. No. So this said left. Did it? But it's upside down. So hold on. It needs to go at, into your. What is it? Your cloaca. Right here, I'll give you a call. Okay. Because the microphone works. Okay. Hey James. Hey James. Hey James. Hey, James. Hey, it sounds. Wow, that, we're gaming. We're gaming. I can hear myself through the the speakers too, which is good in case your mom comes into the room and tells you to stop playing Fortnite. I mean, for five bucks, these ain't bad. That's really. Those are pretty good headphones. Yeah, I don't think any sound comes out the right side. But so let me ask you, Adam, who is the perfect person to get this? Gift? Um, I I would seriously recommend you give this to someone who is maybe not a huge gaming enthusiast, but wants to get into multiplayer gaming. You don't want to, you know, fork out a bunch of money for an Astro headset or something mm -hmm. like that. Like I said, <laughs> it's, it, it is a joke, but uh -huh. these are $5 and they actually work. And well, so, you said the right channel didn't work. Sometimes, it, it depended on if it was a phone call or if it was gaming. <laughs> well, okay. I brought something as well. All right, what do you got? Um, because, I think when uh, when gamers are on the move, mm -hmm. you never know where you're going to end up. Right. So what is that? You know what does it look like? I'll tell no. you what it looks like. It looks like a can of beans or something. Right. Is there like a tiny keyboard in there or there something? There is. There's a keyboard in here. Okay. Okay. So this is a universal keyboard with a flexible design. Oh, okay. okay. So it's a rubber. It's lightweight. <laughs> you can take it wherever you need to go for the game. This is this is the kind of thing that you use for the gamer on the go. Okay. You know, so you get your headphones. <laughs> I mean, a lot of this stuff works in tandem, um, but it also stands on its own. What the hell? <laughs> so no, we'll see. Yeah, so, yeah. Now show me. Okay. So, yeah, you know. There yeah. you go. Pop that out there. Okay. See, so full QWERTY keyboard. Right. Okay. Giant caps lock button here, which I like. Yeah. Um, and then boom, you plug it in via USB, and you're ready to rock and roll. And that's USB 2.0, huh? Yeah, fastest it's, USB. Yeah. So if I want to write my my uh, memoirs yeah. on the plane, yeah, yeah, is this would this work out for that? Absolutely. I mean, you yeah. think about the average size of a plane's um, table in front of you, a yeah. down table or mm -hmm. whatever. We don't fly first class, so no if economy all the way. Economy, economy. Maybe if you're lucky, economy plus. Mm -hmm. You're gonna look at. You know, where's your peanuts and stuff like that? Why does it have four shift keys? Shift is generally sprint. <laughs> you keep it versatile like this, okay. you go shift. But then you're not as accurate, shift. Right. You, know, you still hit it every time. You got the whole F row there too, in case you. All you your function keys. Yeah. You know, everything's there. What is that blank space next to Alt? This one? Uh huh. That's a programmable key. Oh. Is I it? assume. <laughs> one of the biggest problems I always have is I feel like there's not enough keys on the keyboard. Sure, So yeah. when you're playing a game, you're like, okay, well, V is melee, and I'm like, I don't want V to be melee. Mm, you what about, <laughs> what about right. this blank button between alt and space? That seems like that's a pretty good one, too. Yeah, So, so and, and if it is programmable, that would be good for you. Yeah, absolutely. You Excellent. can do anything you want to with it. You got the full keyboard. You can be an accountant. 
and get a ton of use out of this bad boy. What about this the is, giant caps lock key to the left? This one. That is probably where the num number pad could have gone, right? <laughs> so this is, it serves two purposes. Number one, it locks your caps. And number two, it's a great place because like you're, you're typing, you're typing, you're like, mm. man, I feel like I've been typing this whole flight. <laughs> so, like, we travel here a lot, mm -hmm. but a lot of times when we're flying, we think of the movie Broke Down Palace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Does this keyboard help you in that sort of situation oh. where a foreign government puts you in jail against your will because you have no real rights in their country? Well, you shouldn't have smuggled those drugs, number one. But mm. first of all, I would say this is the only keyboard that would help you in a Broke Down Palace type situation. Oh, explain how. Pop a little powder right here in the mm -hmm. caps lock. Who knows what it is? I don't know, the guy just told me it was fine. And then where's this gonna go? It's up your butt. Right up your butt. So big thing happening this year with the announcement of Half-Life Alex is everyone's getting into VR. I can't afford. No, almost no one can afford VR. It's stupid expensive. That's where Five Below actually comes in handy. They're getting into the VR game. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is what the hype, I, FX. Adam, they said, we said specifically, everything had to be $5 or less. It says right there on the tag. Five dollars. Okay. It, it says that it on the expiration Caesar. date. Nope. This bad boy is compatible with all smartphones. Smartphones are basically computers these mm -hmm. days, and you can just play VR on there. This thing uh, it utilizes motion sensors of your phone to create a 360 degree view. Uh, the head strap adjusts for maximum comfort. You mm -hmm. watch movies, 360 degree videos, or play games. All right, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at this. There. Well, I think people try the headphones on. Um, oh, I mean, a lot of times you go to a store, they're not gonna let you just try it yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> Good look to it. Yeah. That was I feel cool. like this this box undersells the quality of that headset. Look at the colors on it. Can you? That looks like the kind of car Justin Bieber would drive. How do you open it? Doesn't have instructions. How do you? What do you mean, how do you open it? What are these? these I don't think those are buttons. Like this. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, these are on the same side. <laughs> Hold on. Pull, Pull it towards you. I'm trying. Pull it up. Or down? No, That's oh, the man. eye cartridge. Maybe. Do that... you think those have anything to do with the sliding? I, That's th the eyes. Hold on. Those, it's got some vent holes on the front. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, we got it. Got the eye cartridge Just out. in case, though, you might. There's the eye cartridge. So I just put my phone in here. This is misleading up here. Oh, God. Yeah, and then it has this really easy to use. Uh-huh. Put that this, in there. This so will slide your phone in. This will lock your phone in. So you put your phone in the case, and we cannot guarantee whether you'll be getting your phone back or not, okay. but just like loading a, a firearm. There you go. Pop it in. Well, That's the last we've seen of your phone. Thank goodbye, you. everybody. All right. See you in VR. Does it feel comfortable? How does it feel? Well, it's dark in here. I um, feel like it could, is there, is it create a seal? Cause my biggest problem with VR is sometimes it doesn't create a seal underneath my, around my um, nose. Um, I can see light from here, here and here. <laughs> oh. Um, but nothing out of the front. Let me see. Well, you want me to put some VR on your phone? Uh. I don't know how we're gonna do that. What do you mean? We'll load up a VR video. Okay. Let's do an in incognito. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Okay. Wait. Lock it in when it's ready to go. Ugh. I mean, the good thing was that that lock in, it means that you can, any mode works. Uh huh. Okay, so I see three beautiful women <laughs> blowing out a birthday candle for my 200th birthday. <laughs> Does it feel no. like you're immersed? <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> Here, you try. Okay. It just. I want to be aroused. <laughs> Hold on, I think the, fo the you got to mess with the focus. I've, that's all I've been doing. I'm trying to use her anus as a focal <laughs> point. Okay, that's a little better. You want to try this? Sure. Yeah. Try this. Okay. Well, How's that? It's still ah, they're bigger. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Take, so take we it tested out. it out pretty well. Yeah. It's a pretty solid for, for, device. For there. five dollars, you could maybe do better, uh -huh. but good luck. Okay. Basically, so. Let me ask you this, Adam. Um, who do you feel like this is the perfect gift for? Uh, this is probably for mothers, mm -hmm. I would assume, or uh, other parents where they're not exactly sold on the whole VR craze. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got a phone, everyone's got a pair of eyes, usually. So you can go, here, mom, try this out. Watch the birthday <laughs> cake video. What's the, should we be concerned that at for $5, people can get their hands on this? Why would you ever want to come back? Uh, I mean, yeah, no, you, every fun thing in the world, th there comes with a little bit of risk. You wanna go on a roller coaster? You might die, but mm -hmm. is it worth it? I think so. Absolutely. I've got one here, but you're gonna be surprised to see this here. Mm-hmm. 
Boom. Hey. Beast Quest. Favorite uh, favorite game of the show. So this is bought at Five Below. Mm -hmm. That this is an Xbox One game. Currently the 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 peak generation of gaming. I mean, look at this. You get it's from the best-selling adventure series. Um, you overcome the dark magic that has corrupted the noble beasts of Avantia and save the kingdom from ruin, which sounds like a lot of fun. For me, I like having the physical copy. Mm -hmm. I like having the physical feeling of it kind of in my hand. When you're putting your library together and, and show, sort of showing your trophies, you wanna have the top games ever made. Metal Gear Solid, Revengeance. It's from Maximum Games. Who? In collaboration with Cool Labby. It ha the best thing about this, it has their address here on the back mm -hmm. in case you want to visit. Them. No real instruction Got manual. Got the disc there. Check the back. Looks like there's data all the way to the end, which okay. is good. Go go to Five Below, get Beast Quest. All of them. Play through it. I recommend it. It's a fun game. I mm. had a great time with it. Five bucks. Five bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm not really into fantasy RPG games. This is a game that I should pick up? Absolutely. Okay. It, it has RPG elements and does take place in a fantasy world, but I wouldn't classify it in that genre. I'd say this is more like um, Skyrim than it is any sort of fantasy RPG. Skyrim for five dollars? Not gonna find Skyrim. that anywhere else on the internet. Since we're doing we're doing gamer's guide, I wanna keep everything mobile right now, because it seems to be there's everything for the mobile gamer. I'm gonna focus on this bad boy right here. It's the race car, virtual race car. That's right, it's the ultimate driving experience right on your phone. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to exp what is that exactly? This is a race car you put on your phone. It costs five dollars. Two, no, this was two dollars and fifty cents. This is actually the cheapest thing I bought. Okay, so it's a race car that goes on your phone. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still not entirely sure. What do you mean it's a race car? I mean, like, car have you ever played your... games before? Yeah, yeah, often. So, so usually when you, you, you play, you use a controller, right? Yeah, yeah. But what if your controller was a car? So it goes on your phone. And then you can control your phone with a car? No, there's one game specifically you have to buy. Uh, it's probably called Arcade Racer. It just says download apps. Okay. Oh, here you go. So here, this is everything that comes with it. They give you a little QR code, always good. So you open the, uh, the download the mobile arcade virtual racer. Okay. Uh, it also doubles as a pop socket. Oh, well that's pretty useful. It says it does. Hold on. Because you're probably wondering, how, what if I lose my car? Yeah. Pop socket. Okay, so the car snaps right into place there. Booyah, see? Now I have a car at all times. Okay, and but then say you want to play the game. Yeah, I just pop that out. And just press the buckle at the rear of the car storage. Yeah, push. Pop. Lift the lid and place the car inside. Press the lid back down. There it goes. Click. So here's the thing, you're gonna play your game. Yeah. You're ready to go. There you go. So. Oh, it fell off. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, so, oh, okay, so yep. I see. You're playing the game, you're using your finger. Does that feel secure? There? Yeah, it's pretty good. I, it's, you know? <laughs> Can't really find it on the App Store. So, yeah, when I played this game, mm -hmm. um, I'd probably put up there with my top five racers of all time. Okay. Yeah, most of the Mario Karts, a Gran Turismo and a Forza, and virtual race car, because it right. simulates yeah, yeah. Well, the car racing experience. Well, let me ask you, Adam, who do you think this kind of gift is for? I think this is for any, like, the, 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 the gearhead of the family. Okay. If you're like, man, mom, I want to drive a car, but you don't let me. So also, yeah, then it now just sticks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you're supposed, so what do you do? You're like, yeah, I'm just done playing my car game, mom. Mm -hmm. No big. And then you pop it in and you're ready to go. Oh, shit. Oh, looks <laughs> great. <laughs> and I have one last, okay. one last thing. This is... <laughs> this is the hands-free neck mount. <laughs> okay. Wow. Can I try again? This is the hands-free neck mount from Vibe. So again, you had a pop socket. Everyone's trying to find a more relaxing way to use their phone, mm -hmm. more convenient way to use their phone. Well, this is probably the most convenient way you can imagine. So, boom. Cool. Look at this, pop this. Cool, I and mean, that's not a bike lock. <laughs> like that. Just pop it on the back there. Yeah, there you go. I had to unlock it first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vibe's signature Securo lock mm -hmm. to make sure. <laughs> 
All right, right. so there. here's the thing. Uh, give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> so just <laughs> slide this into the patented okay. vibe lock. Okay, right? go, ahead, go ahead and so put it on. Well, put it on your. Well, I, I'm just showing you all the all the ways you can use it. Okay. So you're. This is you and me at the airport. Maybe maybe you're like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm right. gonna go do something. And then someone goes, hey, I need that table. I go, okay. <laughs> but but say you, but say you want to be in a more relaxed. <laughs> yeah. Say you want to be in a more relaxed position instead of you know sitting on the bus. Say you want to like lay, lay out on like the I'm couch. Like I'm going to bed. Yeah. It's easy. <laughs> okay, grab me a pillow. I'm ready to relax. Yeah. There we go. There you go. <laughs> Fuck. You get to watch your movies. Uh huh. Okay. Well, yeah. Here on the box, we want you to look like this person. Oh, oh. Grab me. Uh, you know what? Could you grab me those headphones from earlier? Yeah, yeah. Where did they go? Oh. Okay. And I'm in. Wow. And I'm relaxed. Okay. Actually, I need to send an email too. Sure. Can you grab me my uh, keyboard? Here yep. you go. Honestly, I feel yeah. good to go. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Because it looks like it's supposed to be able to extend even further. Oh out. boy. <laughs> okay. Careful there. There you go. So that's the uh, hands-free neck mount. Um, vibe. Who, <laughs> who would you say this is most for in uh, you know your family? I think this is this is for the person who knows what they want. They're they're not gonna they're not gonna play by some. They know what they want. They know how they like to feel comfortable. They have their special pillow, or they have their blankets, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. and this is this is for them. So I feel like this is a perfect product. So there you have it, our gaming centric gift guide this year. Everything here we got for five dollars or less. Actually, in fact, this entire mm -hmm. gift set here, about six items. About yeah. twenty seven fifty all that, in all. That's shopping for an entire gamer family or one very green game or one very greedy gamer boy. Yeah, absolutely. So be sure to check out our future episodes and our future gift guides where we try to get you guys hooked up for everything five dollars or less. We'll see you then. Try it, give it a try. Okay. It ended. <laughs> so. Everything is for you. Oh, cool. And the VR works with it. Yeah, see it? Feels good. <laughs> oh, it's trash! Oh, you said oh, you got one! You bought one! I hit sell on accident. What? Why did you <laughs> do one? Why were you looking at the whole thing? Don't buy it! It's in the negatives! <laughs> you got 24 of them! <laughs> it's in the negatives. It paid you! It paid you! Wow! Look at it! Yes! We're getting rich! <laughs>